Hi, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, yeah, I want to talk to you a bit about the... Um, I suppose this includes a little bit of my history of my playing and a big... I want to talk to you about a big gap in my musicality, which if I... It, it doesn't bother me because I, I love what I do and I love my life doing what I do. But let's say, for example, I had wanted to continue in a band and be in a band and be a better, complete, all-round guitarist. There's something that I would have been doing for many, many years now, which I haven't been doing because I've been running a business, and it's the thing that makes my playing incomplete. Yeah, so, so, so for example, I have certain technical skills I used to, I used to, used to learn. Um, sweet picking and legato. You know, so if I had rock guitar, overdrive, I could be doing that and I used to do tapping. All that kind of stuff. And I had lots of theory and chord scale relationships, all that kind of stuff. So I learnt a lot of things and on certain levels and love blues guitar. You know. I, I love all the blues kind of stuff and improvising over blues, all that kind of thing. But I still consider myself a very incomplete guitar player. And so anyone out there who's learning, who's starting out right now, I want to give you a tool. I want to give you something right now that will change your life as a musician, as a guitarist, for the better, forever. Um, and I cannot stress how important it is. And it's the ability to jam with friends if you have them if you have if you have friends you need to be playing and jamming along with somebody else because musicality comes from uh, you can only create expression by combining chords and scales together somebody else playing while you're playing and and bouncing ideas off each other um, it, it has so many benefits you know learning to play in time learning just just interacting with uh, connecting with other musicians um, but um, the, the, the benefits are endless, and if you want to be a complete guitarist, you've got to play with other people. If you don't have other people to play with, that is where loopers come in, okay? Um, the pedal that I've got here is called the Jam Pal. Um, you should about to see it in the screen there with all the wires connected. So the Jam Pal is my little product, um, and I've developed, I've developed it. I've, 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 I, you know, I, I've had a, I, I asked for a certain specification and, and I designed the little the way it looks. I think it looks very pretty um, and it's very very high quality. So the the pedal that I sell is really good, um, but I don't want to talk about I don't want it to be a sales pitch for the product. Um, the reason why I wanted this product in my SMJ range, which is my range. Um, um, money goes to the butterfly uh, conservation uh, when you buy SMJ products. But the reason why I wanted to have this product in my range was because it was the single most important tool that I wish I'd had when I started playing. It just it wasn't around when I started playing. So what it does is it, 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 it basically gives you a jam pal, a person to jam with. It, it plays back what you play it, okay? So you can be the friend that you don't have. Um, so if I'll give you a quick, quick, quick example. So if I'm playing my, um, if I'm playing, uh, you learn your pentatonic scales. We all tend to do that. And then we, um, you know, you sort of, you sort of learn licks, don't you? And all that kind of stuff. But, if you don't have music to play with, your licks and phrases tend to sound very stagnant and very samey, and you tend to sound like a beginner forever. That is kind of what happens. A lot of people just play the same basic kind of phrasing all the time, and there isn't that expression. The reason that expression isn't there is because they're not thinking of the phrases as an expression, as a creative, Direction. They're just thinking of it as a learnt lick they've got from a magazine. So having some music to play over the back completely changes the the, the, the the landscape that you're playing over. So I'm going to quickly um, just quickly show you what I mean here. So I'll, I'll play an A minor chord. So one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. So this is just an A minor chord in the background. Okay, 
So, everything I'm going to play over here is... I can now hear everything in context. I can hear everything in context of that chord now. So I'll wipe that off. So that is how you kind of start phrasing. Everything tends to be resolving back to the root, the A. Um, so let's now just add a chord to that. So I, I, I'm going to play um, a um, A minor and I'm going to go to an F now, okay? So, um, so uh, one, two, three, four. Different. Uh, and again. All of a sudden, I want to change the way I play. start structuring uh, the lyrics, so I'm going to the four chord, highlight the seven, back to the, back to the root, five chord, four chord, one chord, five chord. Yeah, so I hope that helps, that's the jam pal, and um, it really will help your musical expression so much and if you want me to kind of um, expand on anything I've talked about here do let me know because I'll be more than happy to share ideas and um, look you know I, I hope that you you'll see that I'm a novice with this thing and I'm telling you to do as I say not as I have done I'm telling you if you use one of these pedals you will your your improvement will be enormous, you know, tenfold than you would do if you're playing without one, and it's such really, really important. Um, so I, I, I hope that helps. Okay, yeah, cheers then guys, thanks very much, bye. -bye.